Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to pass your Network Defense Essentials video. Today I'm pretty much going to be going through the course uh, material, what I would you recommend you to do, things, what to do with this, like certain type, like the videos, the labs, and maybe the exams. So actually I'm taking the, uh, the exam last week, ended up passing, so hooray for me. <laughs> <laughs> to begin, um, so we'll start off with the videos. Um, pretty much what I would like to do with the videos is that I would go over them as like an introduction to everything. Because um, some of them uh, go kind of long. They go up to one hour to five hours. So that can take even longer, stretch that out to six and seven hours. If you're really taking notes when you got to stop here and there. That's what I did. But um, so yeah, just for the videos, what I prefer, just use them as an introduction, not really a study material. Um, just a get-to-know basis with that module and all that. Um, next, I'll go to the iLabs. So for these, these aren't really a study material either that I liked. Um, they're more of like a hands-on experience of what, what the module's like, what it's going to be like kind of after the certification when you're working. Um, that's kind of it for that. Just not really a good study material. Just a hands-on experience. But anyways, what I did mostly for the study material was a cyber quotient, so the unit module exams. So for these, um, these are almost an exact copy. I wouldn't say exact copy, but very close to what the exam questions. I would say around 50% of the questions on the exam were pretty similar to these uh, questions from the cyber quotient. So really get to know these cyber quotient uh, exam questions. Um, things like that. So what I did to even um, to get out the, uh, to rep these out a little faster, I put all the questions into a Quizlet. Me and a friend of mine uh, put these into a Quizlet. And what we're doing for the, the last week, we signed on for one week of Quizlet Premium, where we got unlimited tests, unlimited learning, and we just drilled these out for the whole week, you know, multiple hours a day, until uh, the Friday where I took the test. We were just drilling these out. But some things to know if I go and look at my uh, transcript here. So a lot of the things, um, I, as you can see here, I got my 78%, which is a decent score. But for uh, honestly, module one, module one, two, and three, I would say those should be almost free points. Those are like very easy modules. Like what does integrity mean? What does authentication mean? You know, all that kind of thing. And as for module two, maybe putting around fencing around your building or maybe putting a bollard in front of your building so a car doesn't crash through. So so all those points should be pretty much free points. As you see, I got module one, 100%. Um, we're in module two, four out of six. Module three, five out of six. So those are all pretty decent scores. So those three, first three modules should be very easy and very free. Um, next... What I'd like to clarify on is module five, which is one of the videos that stretches very long, goes to five hours, and is worth, I'm pretty sure, 16% of the total exam is just from module five. So it's a, it's a much needed area to study. So things like um, like your Wi-Fi encryption, it talks about like MD5, RSA, need, you, know, you need to know your types of encryption, like TAC ACS+, um, Kerberos, um, Radius, um, you know, all that. Make sure you know your cloud, like device to cloud, um, cloud to cloud, device to device, you know, all that kind of stuff. So those are the things you should, some basic things you should know and how to pass your network defense essential certification.